Edo's the chairman of Labour Party, Mr. Kelly Ogbaloye, said the attention of the party has been drawn to some disturbing remarks and social media publication made by one Blessing Ago, accusing the party's national chairman of collecting bribe from Mrs. Elizabeth Ativier to secure her a ticket to contest. He said the candidacy of Mrs. Ativier as published by INEC stands as the party's position and reiterated that the national chairman of Labour Party did not take money from anybody. The State Executive Council of Labour Party met on the 26th September 2022 to do a general review of his political activity and immediately come out that his reference was some disturbing remarks a social media publication made by one Ago Bless that the candidacy of Right Honorable RTV Elizabeth as published by INEC is upheld by the party as his position. That associating the person and names of the national chairman with the decision made by the party looking at credentials and as elevated in the light of unclean tendency by Ago Bless is rebuted as fatal, sinful, and without truth. Mr. Ogbaloy explained that although there could be a few aggrieved members arising from the outcome of the primaries that saw to the emergence of any particular candidate, but however, the party is ready to address the issues through internal mechanism. We accordingly demand that Blessy Aru, who is not a member of the Labour Party, should retract those allegations without delay or face the law. The national chairman, who is wholly celebrated, nurtured Labour Party along with other patriotic leaders of the party over the last three decades without blemish. He is a complete gentleman and very transparent. Efforts to obtain the reaction of Blessing Ago on the allegations was unsuccessful as she declined to comment on the issue when contacted via telephone. Meanwhile, according to the Publicity Secretary of the Labour Party in the state, Mr. Sam Urupa, the party is set to perform its 2 million man march slated for the 1st of October 2022. Pius Nsogo reporting.